Good afternoon and welcome to our Career Connections monthly webinar. Today's topic is about funded training programs at Manatee Technical College. And I'm so pleased to welcome our presenter from MTC. My name is Lori Gentile. I'm the Director of Client Services for the Women's Resource Center and I'll be your host today. You may have noticed that all the lines are muted, but we still do really wanna hear from you. So if you'd like to ask a question, please click on the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen and type in your question, and then we'll answer as many as possible um, at the end. Before I introduce our presenter, I just wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you to the Women's Resource Center. The Women's Resource Center has been empowering women in Manatee and Sarasota County since 1979. Our programs are offered at either no cost or very low cost to our clients. We offer mental health counseling, career services, educational scholarships and programs, legal and financial consulting and education, and wellness programs. And now due to COVID-19, most of our programs are offered remotely. We have three centers, one in Manatee on Manatee Avenue West. Our Sarasota campus is on South Tuttle Avenue. And we have a third center in Venice on uh, US 41 Bypass South. As I mentioned, our centers are closed uh, due to COVID-19, but our career closets are open for donations and drop off on Wednesdays from 11 to three. We also have a unique boutique and the unique boutique sells gently used women's clothing. And we're located there on uh, Main Street in downtown Manatee, downtown Bradenton, excuse me. And our store hours, um, we have special COVID hours, which is Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to three. So I just wanna talk a little bit about our career programs at the Women's Resource Center, since this is a career webinar. So in our centers and remotely, we offer career coaching. And career coaching is a, an appointment, one-on-one -on -one appointment, now they're all by Zoom, with one of our highly trained and skilled career coaches. And the career coaches can take you through the entire career journey from career discovery, if you're not sure what you want to be when you grow up, through um, fixing up or developing your resume, to online job searches. If you haven't uh, looked for a job in a, in a while, everything now is online. Um, and also interview practice. In our career centers, each one of our centers has a career center. Um, closed now again due to COVID, but in the career centers, we have, um, again, highly trained professionals who can help with resume development if you don't want to go um, with a career coach. We offer one-on-one -on -one computer tutoring, um, and you can also get help with a job search or setting up your LinkedIn profile. We have career closets. I mentioned it before that the closets are open on Wednesdays now in Sarasota and Manatee. There is no career closet in the Venice office, but all you can drop off donations at all three centers. And then we offer workshops like this one today. Uh, this is the Career Connections program. And you'll see we offer one, usually one per month, sometimes more. Um, and the whole idea of the Career Connection program is to connect our clients with either funded training opportunities like we're talking about today or um, well-paying jobs in the community. I did wanna point out one other thing. Um, we actually closed our doors on March 20th, sadly, um, but on that same day, we had created our COVID-19 resources page. And basically that's everything COVID. So we have employment information, we have emergency services, food services, um, uh, educational services, and we update that you know, probably once a day. 
Um, and I did circle at the top, that's all the different employment related services. So when you, when you go to the COVID-19 page, which is off of our page, there's all links because it's very um, comprehensive. So it's easier if you use the links to navigate the page. And that page is mywrc.org slash COVID-19 resources. And then if you want more information, please give us a call. We have uh, folks at home <laughs> answering all the calls for the Women's Resource Center. And our phone number is 941-256-9721. Or you can visit our website at www.mywrc.org. And now it is absolutely my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Martha Myers from MTC. Martha, take it away. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I've got a lot to go over, so we're gonna dive right in. Um, if, you, if I go a little fast and you miss any information, don't worry, because at the end, we'll have all the contact information for you. MTC offers over 50 programs, so if you don't hear about something today you like, just uh, check out the website. We'll give you that at the end of the presentation and you might find something else. But these are really, really good. These are nine hot programs that are low to no cost. So let's talk about what those programs are. MTC Rapid Credentials, it comes under the CARES Act from the Governor's Education Emergency Relief Fund. Wow, is that a mouthful. But anyhow, it's basically due to COVID and those that were impacted by it. And let's face it, haven't we all been impacted just a little bit by COVID? So let me go through those nine programs. Advanced Manufacturing and Production Technology, CNC Production Specialist, that's another big one because CNC stands for computerized numer numerical controller. So at CNC, as I refer to that, will, will spare us from too much, taking up too much time. Applied cybersecurity, plumber helper, emergency medical technician, also known as EMT, medical laboratory assisting, phlebotomy, patient care technician, and nursing assistant, commonly known as CNA. So let's go to advanced manufacturing. Advanced manufacturing, let me just tell you a little bit about that is pretty much any manufacturer has technicians that work in their company. We have large companies in this area, PGT, um, Air Products, uh, Teak Decking. There's many, many companies that Pierce Manufacturing that hire from MTC for these advanced manufacturing technician program uh, positions. The program length is six months. The estimated student cost under this, under the rapid credentialing is $303 that the student would have to pay. Now, the value of these programs are all a lot more, as you would imagine, some of them in the thousands, but that's what the student would pay. Careers are available in manufacturing in all areas, including food, parts, assembly, design, wood, wood metal, and fabrication. So there's something for everyone there, uh, whatever their interest might be in manufacturing. The anticipated starting wage is 14 to 15 per hour. Now, these can vary on all of these, depending on where you go and what their current need is. If, they're in, if it's a high demand and they need someone, the wages will be a little bit higher. If there's a lot of people, then they don't need someone, then the wages would be more at that starting wage rate or if there's no other experience. Okay, let's move right along to applied cybersecurity. Now, cybersecurity is a hot topic. We're always hearing about hacking. I think we're hearing about potential hacking now in the news almost on a daily basis with different companies, Target, the, the government, um, Apple, I'm famous people. So applied cybersecurity is really big. The program length is six months. These are for all of you people out there that like to be gamers and wanna be on a computer. This is a job for you. Estimated student cost is $310. Careers are available in industries that use computers with important personal data, banking, finance, medical, and others. The anticipated starting wage on this is 14 to 16 an hour. That may be up a little bit. I'll be getting more uh, information on that in the next couple of days. So that might have moved up, edged up a little bit. But think of the things that are important in uh, keeping your information safe. Uh, many, you'll be doing things like assessing the risk uh, in uh, with companies as to how 
they might be hacked or how they, their information might be taken. You'll also try and set up, you know, uh, firewalls and things to, to pro prohibit that, but it's all about keeping information safe. If you're a computer geek, this is the one for you. Next one. CNC production specialists. Okay, remember I told you that was computerized numerical controller, CNC. Oh, wow, what a mouthful. Program length is six months. The estimated student cost is $303. Careers are available in manufacturing with over 600 manufacturers in our two county region. And that data is from our um, Sarasota Area Manufacturer, Manti Area Manufacturers Association. That is what they've told us how many and manufacturing companies are available. The, okay, I have good news on this newsflash, newsflash. I just last night talked to the instructor for the program and the anticipated starting wage is 16 to 17 per hour. So forget that 15, 16, it's 16 to 17 per hour. Um, this is a good one if you, like, if you like math, if you think you'd like to learn some programming. Um, the instructor has assured me you don't have to come in with super great knowledge about all of this that it is trained within the class. Um, but if you're looking to get something in a little higher wage, which I say this is a great career uh, starter and you'll be, and it's high in demand high, high, high demand. So this is a good one for those of you that like math. Okay, emergency medical technician, also known as EMT. Uh, the program length on this is four months. The estimated student cost is $122. Now careers are available with local government, private transport companies, and hospitals. And, uh, and in this area, since we do have a uh, some larger population over the age of 25. Uh, we do get uh, a lot of people that need uh, assistance being transported to doctor's appointments, hospitals, and so forth. The estimated starting wage is $12.50 to $13.25. Now I have a little asterisk there because any of these medical programs, and you'll see it for all the ones I'm going to talk about, vaccines, background check, and a physical are an additional cost. However, I believe the counselors for these programs, and you'll get their names at the end, have information as to places that offer low cost like physicals and um, and vaccines. So don't let that scare you off, but $122 and you too could be driving an ambulance. Medical laboratory assisting. Okay, this sounds like fun, doesn't it? If you like to do like research or you like to be involved in things that are, um, you know, that a little more in the science area, this is definitely for you. It's three and a half months. The estimated cost is $80. Again, see that little um, asterisk there for the vaccines and so forth. Careers are available in medical laboratories, offices, research facilities. Um, this area, I think, has is developing more in the medical arena, so we'll probably be seeing an increase in those positions. Anticipated starting wage is $13.70 to $14.25 per hour. Okay, moving right along. Oh, well, I don't know what job that is. Hmm, maybe we should go to the next slide. Oh, there it is. Okay, oh, back up, sorry. I was just a little too quick there on the draw to go to the next program. All right, let me do patient care technician. Oh no, I'm gonna do nursing assistant. Okay, back on target here. That was my bad. Program length is five weeks. The estimated cost is zero. Big fat nada, nothing, okay? Zero, except for those vaccines, physical and background check. This particular program is being funded um, partially by Career Edge funders. So we have them to thank for, uh, for partnering with us to provide this nursing assistant, as you may know, as a CNA. Careers are available with hospitals, long-term care, and rehabilitation facilities. And also now there's been an increase in individuals wanting in-home private care, particularly with COVID. Some people don't wanna send their loved ones to facilities, so they are requesting those individuals. Some people work at both. They work at a long-term facility or a hospital, and then they do some private care for like kind of a side gig. So that's one to keep, keep in mind, and that's a really good one. Patient care technician is pretty much the same things as the CNA, except you'll have additional training in phlebotomy, EKG, um, and let's see, phlebotomy, EKG, and some other additional, additional training that will ensure that you get a little bit more money than you would as just a CNA. In all of these, if you're looking at them a career starter, these will move, this will move forward um, with getting you into like an LPN, an LPN program and then onto an RN. Estimated cost to attend is $80. Um, anticipated starting wage, $12.50 to 14 
And this is good for those of you who want to be considered an essential care. This one and the EMT and the piece in the CNA are all essential care workers, which we've heard a lot about the last few months. Okay, next, phlebotomy. Mm. Program length, five weeks. Estimated cost is $30. Well, you can't get much cheaper than that, can you, to get some training. Careers are available at diagnostic centers, hospitals, blood donor centers, and I'm sure everyone's been to either LabCorp or Quest at some point in their life and got poked. And uh, you want to get poked by somebody who's trained and good. So this is where you would start to be one of those people, another essential care uh, worker position. Anticipated starting wage, $12.25 to $13 per hour. Again, you have the vaccines, physical and background check or additional costs. But this is a good starting out. If you just want to dip your toe in the medical field, this is a great one to start with. Mm. Plumber's Helper. Again, this is a program that's funded entirely by Career Edge funders. We're um, quite pleased that they've reached out and, and that they have um, asked us to partner with them to put this particular program on. The program length is five months. It's evening only and two Saturdays a month. Estimated cost, what is that? Big zero, not a zero, nothing, okay? Zip. This is really good for those of you who want to get into a trades career. This is an entry, a door open for you. You can become a plumber's helper. You can go on to become a plumber and then you can get into an apprenticeship. I mean, it's just the doors wide open for you. Uh, careers are available with businesses in new construction. I always like to say, people say, oh, I don't know about a plumber, but think about all those toilets and showers and everything in new construction, they haven't seen anything yet. Okay, so just remember that those are good if you're new construction and there's a lot going on here. There's also commercial and residential and doing service type calls. Very, very good um, entry level for the trades. Anticipated wages are 14 to 15 per hour. And again, funded by Career Edge funders. Thank you very much. Okay, how are you gonna apply for this? Well. For more information on any of these programs and the other programs offered at MTC, www.manateetech.edu. Who are you going to call? Okay. I've on this list for all of these programs is listed the counselors and their extensions. So you have direct uh, contact with the people that can give you more information. Most all of these are going to be doing virtual online uh, orientations. So you'll find out that information. I would say check the website first before you call because a lot of your can questions can be answered, but anything that you don't have, they will be able to uh, help you with that. Um, also on the nursing and plumbing, again, the asterisks there, for those two programs, you wanna start off by applying online at the website there is careeredgefunders.org backslash bridges to careers backslash. So that's only for nursing assistant and plumbing helper. Everyone else will go to manatee Again, uh, any additional information you need can be, can be garnered from that website. Uh, like I said, if I went through this and you missed anything or uh, you have additional questions, I hope you, you're putting those in so that I can answer those for you. And uh, definitely this is a train to jump on. These programs will all start in January uh, should be completed by June for the ones that are six months. Some of them will go a lot quicker. And uh, I look forward to seeing some uh, people that have participated in this webinar today to uh, sign up and be a part of this movement to get yourself on the track to a career that pays well. Awesome. Thank you, Martha. Yeah. I just want to remind everyone um, if you have a question, please type it in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Um, I also want to mention that we will be um, with this, this, excuse me, this webinar, easy for me to say, is being recorded and we will send it out um, probably first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, along with some flyers and some more information about the training opportunities um, available at MTC. So questions? So, so there. Oh, do you uh, need a GED for any of the classes? Um, most all of these programs will require a GED or a high school diploma. Um, there may be some that do not, but I can't think of any, maybe phlebotomy 
but I can get the answer to that and I'll get back with Lori and let her know. Most of these will, though I do think require a, um, a GED uh, or passing the tape. Now it depends on when you finish school because some uh, high school diplomas moving forward, you don't need the GED if your high school diploma is after a certain year. So I can get that information into Lori. We also have uh, the tape tests that individuals uh, can take um, to see where they stand as far as academically, because we obviously don't want to put somebody into something that, um, you know, that they're not going to succeed at. But at the same time, these instructors, I have to tell you, don't be hesitant if you think that, well, I don't have any background on that. I don't know how to do this or that or the other. These instructors are really good at taking you and giving you the specific information you need to get through those programs. So like, for example, in CNC, he's not going to start you and, and make you go through algebra one, two, three, four, five, and six or whatever. Oh, I don't, they don't go that high, do they? Okay, but algebra one or two, what they'll, he'll do is he will take the information that you need out of that and teach you or train you on that. Um, everyone will apply for the FAFSA, which is the free application for uh, financial student aid, which doesn't cost you anything, but could give additional information or funding to you. So just keep that in mind. Um, every, a lot of people don't apply for FAFSA because they feel it's like, you know, they're not going to qualify or there's too much of this or too much of that. But believe me, there's a lot of help out there to handhold you and walk you right through it. So you can get that money that you're entitled to, to continue your education. Because we all know the way up is through education and training. Yeah. So someone did ask a question, are these the only programs we're going to be talking about today during this webinar? Um, yeah. Yes, these are the, these, because these are the programs that are low cost to no cost and we wanted to focus on those. Um, however, if you, you know, at some point in the future, if you want us to come back and talk about additional programs, we could do that. Uh, or like I said, almost all information you can get on the, on the website. We are starting to do also some videos on individual programs that they'll be highlighting on the website, mm -hmm. kind of like take you through and show you exactly what's going on in that program, walk you through it. Of course, the instructors and the counselors are always available to ask questions on any of the programs that you see here or on our website. So then too, if, if anybody wants to see what other programs are available at MTC, the best thing to do would be to visit your website. Is that correct? Visit the website. Right now, we're not having a physical encounters, so to speak, because of the uh, COVID, but all information can be obtained on the website. And uh, it also, there's a listing on there for the counselors for all the programs, as well as I said, some of the uh, videos for individual programs will be highlighted. And I think we're going to be having a, a new video that goes over kind of all the programs of what we do. So, um, which is a little better to have the video than just to uh, be reading. Um. And then, um, and then I just want to re, um, repeat that the website is www.manatitech.edu. That's correct, Lori. Thank you. Okay. And there is a question about are the programs free? So they there was some exceptions to that. Yeah, the two programs uh, that are free, I believe we went through were the. Uh, Plumbing is absolutely free, and I believe that uh, that CNA program um, are free, except for the vaccine, physical, and um, and background check. The rest of the programs, I think I highlighted those as to the cost, and I think the I think it's anywhere from thirty dollars to three hundred three is the most or three ten I think or three hundred three is the most expensive, but uh, they go anywhere like I said from thirty dollars, eighty dollars. These programs, like for example, um, the value of say the CNC program, I know I'm focusing on that a lot, it must be stuck in my head. The cost of it is 303, but the value of that program is $2,480. So if you were to go in and wanna take the CNC production specialist, you'd be paying $2,480 um, for that program and under this, CARES Act under this rapid credentialing, you pay $303. So those are low cost to, to you know, low cost to uh, little cost to no cost. Like I said, the plumbing and the um, CNA are uh, zero. The um, 
Medical laboratory assisting, that program is $2,756 and the cost to the student is $80. Uh, I do want to give a shout out here to Goodwill because they are providing vouchers for uh, scrub uniforms. So that's one cost that the individual student may not have to incur. Um, we will be having vouchers for uh, scrub uniforms. So thanks to Goodwill and all the great things they do in our community as well. Yeah, and someone asked if the resource center, the Women's Resource Center would pay for classes. And um, so I just wanted to interject that we do have a scholarship program. Um, the applications will be opening up on our website in, and it'll be open from January through March. So mid-January through, through mid-March. Um, and then if there are things such as books or uniforms or whatever, give us, a, and you need help with those costs, give us a call um, and we'll see if we could match you to some other funding in the community if needed. That's great information, Lori, and that was a good question. Yeah. Um, someone else asked Martha, what's the program length of the PCT program? Uh, patient care technician, uh, that program is six months. Okay. Six months. So you'll start in January, you'll be complete by about the first week of June. All of these programs are starting in January, which I don't know, Lori, how that's going to work with your scholarship for those, but they are starting in January and they will be finished. The longest program will be anything that six months will end by about the first, maybe second week of June. Yeah, um, that scholarship would probably apply if they wanted to attend different. Right, different programs yeah. uh, or start on in August for yeah. something else. Yeah. Um, one other thing I did want to mention before we take another question is that uh, these, these programs are um, all come with certifications. So you will get a certification. It's not just that you came and took a class and whatever. You will, like for the applied cybersecurity, you'll get a comp TIA security uh, certification. Um, of course, emergency medical technician, they get the state and um, national certification. And with that, that is transferable. So we don't want anybody to move out of our beautiful area, but should they have a, a reason to relocate somewhere else, that EMT is, um, is transferable to many states that recognize national certification. So and that actually keep that in mind, but they all do have certifications. Yeah, that answers two of the questions. I'm sorry, we, Lori? That answers two of the questions in the box. EMT oh, okay. and are the, are the rest of the, um, do they bring certifications as well? Um, they all have certifications. Okay. Um, and then how do we apply for the fast track program? I work during the day. Okay. The only program that will be available so far that I'm aware of will be the plumbing helper. That is totally an evening program. Um, there was some talk that applied cybersecurity might be an online class, but that has not been confirmed. Uh, our accrediting agency for Manatee Technical College needs to approve anything that's done totally online. And so we're await we are awaiting, uh, I guess, information from them as to whether or not we will be able to do that online. So at this point in time, the Plumbing Helper is the program that is available. But I want you to remember, we have other evening programs that if you work during the day, you could apply for the FAFSA, See if you qualify, most people do qualify for some aid of some type or some financial assistance. And they do have also individual scholarships that the financial aid uh, program can help you with or that department. So if none of these, or if you're, none of these work for you because of your uh, work schedule during the day, do look at our evening classes because we have many classes at night. So there might be another option there for you. Okay. And then just, um to repeat, to apply for these programs, they for all of them except for the ones that have a star next to them, you apply to Manatee Tech. Okay, right. Otherwise, you apply at Career Edge Funders online, correct? That, that is correct. That is correct. The only two you apply for at uh, Career Edge Funders is those that are um, for plumbing or nursing assistant. Okay. And let's see. A couple more questions. Um, these costs are the cost fees, but not all the programs are tuition free. 
um, the grants, the CARES grants that cover these cover the tuition, right? Well, some of these other costs have been rolled in. So the cost that you see on these, uh, for example, let me just pick one here that I can, okay. So um, the cost that you see on these, what, when I, the numbers that I gave you, that is what the student pays. Everything else then has been covered with the exception of, you know, background checks, vaccines or physical for the medical programs. But the uh, cost that I gave you, those costs, I mean, you may have to buy a uniform, so I should probably include that. But like I said, on some of the medical ones, we're getting vouchers donated for those. The, the dollar amounts I gave you is the cost that the student pays. The tuition, the fees have been covered. Um, there's also additional, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything, um, you know, the, the, the amount that the student is paying, their portion, like for example, on the advanced manufacturing and production technology, the portion the student's paying is 184 out of that 303. And then they're paying administrative fee, which is the application, uh, application fee, and that's the 70. So that totals up to 303. Now the student may have to buy a uniform for their program, um, but those can usually, you can, those don't have to be purchased, you know, you, uniform pants can be bought, bought from like Target or Walmart or Goodwill, wherever you want to, wherever you want to shop. The uniform shirt though, because you have your logo of the school on there and we require they wear, students wear that for safety. So they would have to get a uniform. But the numbers I gave you, that covers your administration fees, the portion of the tuition fees, that's all that you're going to pay other than uniforms and then the medical ones we talked about. I hope that answers the question. Great. Was a long and, um, let's see, can you explain the medical laboratory assistant again? I missed okay. it. Okay, no, no worries. Let me just, uh, okay. So um, the medical laboratory assisting, they, you become, you're equipped as a clinical um, lab assistant and phlebotomist. So you'll be doing both laboratory work as well as phlebotomy, and it prepares you for employment in a variety of healthcare settings. So I think we talked about like blood donors, that's also one that you might be able to do um, because you will have that phlebotomy, but you'll have more than just the phlebotomy. And you become eligible to apply for national certification uh, through examination by the American Medical Technologists and more. So consider yourself working in a lab, um, Perhaps if you think about when you go to like say Quest or LabCorp and you get your blood drawn by a phlebotomist, they send that out to a laboratory to be tested. So you would be working with a, uh, a, a lab tech, you know, laboratory in a laboratory uh, as a technician assisting those people who actually go through and analyze those tests. Okay. Uh, let's see, which programs may be good for older workers or career changers? Okay, so career changers uh, depends on what they want. Uh, one of the things, like if they're wanting to dabble in medical, I would do phlebotomy. Now, that would be, most of these are going to require probably being on your feet. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't recommend an EMT for an older worker because that's a lot of, it's a lot of physical, you know, in and out of the whatever on those high ambulances and so forth. The applied cybersecurity might be a really good one for an older worker, especially if they have an interest in technology and want to have uh, more of an insight into that. And that one is, uh, I think would be good for an, for an older worker. Um, the, CNC production specialists and the advanced manufacturing, again, those are going to be more physical type demanding jobs, but those are also very good for entry level workers or someone who's making a transition um, because those are, are, are good paying career and entry level um, and there's a lot of places to go. Uh, nursing assistant, again, I'm not so sure for an older worker because I think with lifting and so forth, um, you know, I don't think I'd be too good at lifting someone and I'm not sure that I'd want to do that, if, you know, at, at this point in time. Um, the, like I said, the phlebotomy and the applied cybersecurity, I think would be good for older workers. Depending on their energy level, though, any of these programs, you know, are, are available for anyone. We don't, you know, we, we take everyone from, you know, 18 to 80 uh, or more. Uh, we don't have any wage or, or we don't do any wage. I mean, what, we don't do any age discrimination. We don't do any gender discrimination. In fact, we welcome women into the trades because 
there's good money that can be made and a good career established. So for an older worker, someone in transition, any of these programs, if you're in transition going from working in maybe food service or uh, some other type of like, you know, uh, industry, maybe in sales or whatever, and you want to kind of get more career bound and you don't see yourself heading that way, any of these would be good. Uh, but some of them have more physical stamina requirements than others. But again, for women, the trade ones are great. For older care workers, again, I would say applied cybersecurity and phlebotomy. Um, but really, if you've got an, a good energy level and you know feel physically capable, then any of these are good. Awesome. Thank you. I like that question a lot. Could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> um, CompTIA, is the CompTIA certification automatically obtained upon completion of the class? You have to take the, the test for it. So any of these certifications will require that testing for them um, because that's how the certifications are given is through testing. But your instructor will work with you to get you to the place where you need. They also do additional remediation if you need it uh, for this testing. So but that CompTIA security, that's a really hot certification, high demand right now. Um, I would really recommend if you've got the least bitty, teeny bitty interest in technology, this is for you. This is a great door opener again. Yeah, and a lot of technology jobs are offered uh, remotely. That's right, that's right. right. That could be a great opportunity. That's right. Um, would I be able to take more than one course? Well, because these are all being offered at the same time, it's probably not likely. But that doesn't mean we do have individuals who come. Now for this particular opportunity, these will start in January, end in June. So it would be very difficult that they're, they're gonna be offered at the same time. So you really wouldn't be able to do that. But if you go through one of these, um, there's nothing stopping you from applying if you wanted to, to MTC to take another one with FAFSA funds or Pell Grant or scholarships that are available. Um, there's nothing stopping you from taking another program. We've had people come in. A good example, we've had people come in. Uh, we don't have this program anymore, but it was, uh, it was major appliance repair. People would take that program, then they would take the plumbing class because then they would have, you know, the, the two, which were very good for like, um, you know, for, for commercial type work. So some people come in and they take, say, our construction trades program, then they decide they want to do electrical too. So it's not unheard of for people to take more than one program. They just can't take them at the same time. It's just about impossible. It is impossible. <laughs> so if you're interested, take them consecutively. Do one, then take the next one. Great. And I think you may have answered this already, but I was probably reading the next commercial, the next question. Um, do you anticipate classes will be taught online only because of COVID? I think no. The that. only one is applied cybersecurity that may be taught online. Oh, okay. The rest of them are all hands-on because technical training is hands-on. That's how you learn. I mean, you know, a lot of us, that's how we learn. We learn how to do it. I mean, like, you know, you can take an online course to learn how to use a sewing machine if people still use them, but a sewing machine, but it's not the same as when you get behind a sewing machine and you, you pop that thread and you got to figure out how to re-thread re it. So it's like technical, you know, technical learning is hands-on and hands-on learners. When you work with these, you learn how to do it. Good. So I'm glad I asked that question. Yeah. That was a good <laughs> these are um, great questions. I'm so excited. I know. I know. It's terrific. Um, are these programs available to individuals that are not unemployed currently? Um, if, if you were affected by COVID in some way or another, uh, if you lost your job, if you uh, were um, someone who downsized, you lost hours, so you weren't working full time, or your pay has been cut, or in some way, if you've been affected by COVID, I would recommend that that's kind of a personal question you ask yourself, was I affected? And if so, then go ahead and apply. Um, I do need to make uh, a note that I didn't say earlier. On the plumbing and the, um, the CNA, the nursing assistant, those, those programs are available to individuals who are located in the, um, not in the city of Bradenton, but in the unincorporated Manatee County. So I need to make, make because that funding, as I told you before, coming from another source, Career Edge funders need to make sure that individuals for those two programs know that those are 
for un individuals that are in unincorporated Manatee County. That doesn't mean that if someone was interested in those programs that we wouldn't be able to try and find some uh, funding for them possibly to, uh, to uh, obtain those two certifications. So don't rule it out, but those in, we're targeting those in unincorporated Manatee County, but we would look for additional funding to try and help those who are interested that don't meet that particular requirement. The rest of them are wide open to anybody in the state of Florida. <laughs> be a long commute for some but we're really we really want to we really want to help those folks in our region so that's who we really want to help out here and that's what, what i think the money intended for wonderful um there's usually a cost associated with obtaining comtia estimated about 200 dollars um will that be waived we've got a techie on here don't we we've got a techie on here i can feel it so i can feel it okay so let me look here and see because I do have um, the certification. Okay, it looks like it looks like that top that comp TIA I believe is covered here. I don't. Um, if you if that individual wants to reach out to the counselor for that program and ask them, but my understanding is that these certifications are covered. Okay. Yeah. So just to clarify for questions about paying for the certification exams, because a lot of times that has a different fee associated with it. Their best right. bet would be to call the counselor. Call the counselor because I do not see that it's separated out as an additional fee, um, that it shows the industry certification. I don't show it being separated out. So I would call the counselor on that um, to, to, to make certain, because I, on the information literature that I currently have, it doesn't show that it's separated out. Okay. And again, just to remind folks, if you didn't um, write down all the numbers, we will be sending an email to everybody who registered with the recording, in case you wanna to listen to it again, as well as the slides that we showed today. So you'll have all the contact information. Okay, so I just looked at some additional information I have, and it says that the scholarship grant pays other costs per student and under that is uh, the, it shows the certification exam fee. Yeah, oh, okay. it shows that it does. Yeah, good. Okay. It's pricey for some of them. Sure. That's okay. why the benefit of this is that, you know, if you can get retrained or trained into any of these, it's, you know, your return on investment, well, it's the rest of your life making more money. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Not, not much better return than that. <laughs> What are the hours of the classes? Okay, so the day classes, those start, I believe, at 8, 8 15, and they go until 2 30. Um, evening classes, I believe, start at 6 and go until 10. Yeah, that's a long day. Well, if you're, yeah, well, you usually don't, don't do both. You'll just, you know, do one or the other. Right, right. That evening class, which is for the plumbing, that is also two Saturdays a month from, I believe, 8, 8, 8 30 to, or 8 to 4 30. Right, right. Uh, there's a question here. So if I lost my job prior to the pandemic, but the pandemic still affects my job search. You're eligible. <laughs> You're eligible. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you lost your job before the pandemic, but without a pandemic, chances are you'd have had another job. But when everyone else is losing their jobs, the jobs weren't there. So I would say you were affected by the, by the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't see how that would be otherwise. I mean, you know, I don't think anyone is going to be unemployed by choice for all those months if they could have gotten a job, but it doesn't mean that you have to be unemployed at this point. It just is whether or not you were affected by COVID. Or it's even like you mentioned your hours are cut or your pay. Your hours are cut or pay cut or say you worked and you were, you worked at a restaurant and you were a server and you were making a lot of money, you know several hundred dollars a night or whatever. And then COVID hits, restaurants are closed. You go back, but maybe your restaurant stayed open and you're working eight hours a week. Well, you know, your income was severely limited. So, you know, you would qualify for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have to live in Bradenton? You answered that, right? Only, only, only Manatee Unincorporated for the plumbers and the, for the plumber and for the uh, CNA. Only those two. 
But like I said, don't hesitate. If you want to do that, don't hesitate to apply because we can look and see what other, if you qualify for uh, additional type funding, we can look at that. Mm -hmm. Right. And that too is, you know, Women's Resource Center scholarships too. And Jen, if you don't, if you want to start. Um, don't like think any of these are out of reach. It, you know, you're never going to know unless you get out there and put in those applications and apply and, you know, we'll help you give some, give you some information on scholarships that are additional scholarships that are available. Um, you know, so don't, don't think that, oh, well, I'll never get the money or I won't qualify or, you know, you know, I will tell you doing the applications and everything is going to take a little bit of time. So don't get discouraged because just remember that carrot at the end is going to be that high demand, high wage job. And, um, and that's what it's all about. And six, you know, a year from now, you'll be singing a different tune than we're talking right now, because you'll have already gone through it, be employed, be where you want to be. And that year is going to come and go whether you do anything or not. So I recommend, why not, you know, just do it. Just do it. Yeah, wonderful. Well, it looks like that was our last question. Oh, <laughs> I was having so much fun with those questions. You I like you're that. having a good time, Martha. Oh, wow, I do. I love what I do, and I love helping people because it's nothing. Nothing feels better in the world than helping someone. And when you can help people make a change in their life and move forward and become the you know the better person they want to be, the better parent, the better provider, just feeling better about themselves. You know that's what it's all about. And this opportunity. If you've even just have an inkling, you've wanted to make a change or do something, whatever, this is the best opportunity I have seen in my career for people to come in with low cost to no cost training to get those jobs that are out there. And believe me, they are out there. Uh, this is, you're not getting trained for something like to be a ventriloquist and, you know, we can't find you a position because I don't know any open ventriloquist positions. These are jobs that are available and that, you know, employers are looking for in our area and they're willing to pay for. So please email manateetech.edu. And uh, I hope to hear from some of you actually that you actually applied and got into the program and you're on your way. So Thank you again to the Women's Resource Center for hosting this today, for allowing Manatee Technical College to be a part of it and to be able to, um, to be able to offer this up and to partner with you folks. So thank you for the opportunity. Wonderful, thanks so much. I appreciate you joining us today. And again, as a reminder, um, either later this afternoon or tomorrow morning, you will get a link to that you can watch the replay. Um, and you will also get a copy of the presentation and some other flyers with uh, information. Um, so thank you again for joining us. If you wouldn't mind, we have a survey that's going to pop up as soon as um, we close down this webinar. And we would really appreciate your feedback because we take it very seriously. And that's what really helps us um, keep uh, bringing you quality uh, programming. So if you could, you could just take a moment, it's only, I think, four or five questions. So thanks for joining us today and have a great rest of your day, everybody. Bye.